now we are going to see about the dry sum lubrication system because what, uh, what is the difference between wet sum and dry sum is sum we all know what is sum sum is the place where engine uh, at the bottom of the engine there will be some place where the oil get collected okay so each and every engine even for our uh, bike engines car engines and all there will be at the bottom there will be a place where the um, uh, the places will be like this it will be like this so here the oil get collected these are the collected oils like this it will get collected okay so what is the difference for wet sump and dry sump is in wet sump uh, lubrication system always the oil get settled in the sump only but in dry sump lubrication system there is a difference the difference what difference is the oil get sucked by the scavenger pump and it get collected in the reservoir not in the sump okay so this is the main difference for wet sump and dry sump lubrication system okay so that's why with uh, the oil get drained periodically by the because it get sucked by the scavenger pump so that's why uh, there won't be enough oil in the sump that's why it is called dry sump the oil gets dried that's why it is called dry sump lubrication system so there is there are two types of lubrication system one is wet sump lubrication system and uh, another one is dry sum lubrication system only difference is in dry sum lubrication system oil gets sucked by the scavenger pump and it gets stored in reservoir whereas in uh, wet sum lubrication system the oil will be stored in the sump only after uh, getting uh, after cooling the engine it will get stored in the sump only okay so here you can see the image of this uh, dry sum lubrication system here this is the engine part so here we have the engine part the main priority of this lubrication system is to cool the engine while uh, because of, uh, there will be lot of uh, moving parts in the engine and uh, because of the combustion taking place in the engine the parts will get heated up and also because of the friction also it will get heated up so what what a lubrication system need to do is it need to cool the engine and uh, lubricate the or uh, it need to cool all the engine parts inside the casing so uh, the engine parts get cooled and uh, after cooling the uh, engine parts the oil need to move towards the sum so here we have the oil tank or we can say it is a come uh, sum from the sum the scavenger what the scavenger will do means it will suck here uh, the scavenger will be like this this is the um, uh, scavenger here it will uh, it will be like this we have a pipe connection so in the scavenger what it will do it will suck the oil so the oil gets sucked like this oil will enters into the scavenger region like this and it will uh, move on to the reservoir or here uh, there will be reservoir or it will move to the um, uh, engine part after getting filtered and after getting uh, cooled it will move to the engine part okay so now we will see the what are all parts in the dry sum lubrication system we will be having an oil tank then a scavenger pump then an oil tank vent then oil cooler oil temperature gauge and oil pressure gauge and also the engine breather these are the parts in the lubrication system so many all reciprocating engines and uh, uh, turbine engines they will use this uh, dry sum lubrication system only because of the um, uh, easy easiest uh, cooling system or lubrication system that's why they are using this uh, uh, dry sum lubrication system and um, the oil gets supplied as i told earlier itself the oil is uh, uh, supplied from the tank to the engine and uh, we are have uh, we all know when um, uh, the transferring something from a lower level to a higher level we need some external device uh, the external device here the, we are using the external device as pump the pump will pump the oil from the or uh, it will uh, it suck the oil from the tank and it will get pu it pumps the oil to the engine so after uh, uh, the the main um, uh, work of this oil is uh, it, it need to lubricate the systems inside the engine okay so for that part we have a scavenger pump the scavenger pump it will collect the oil from the sump then it will pa it passes the oil to the reservoir tank after uh, passing the oil to the reservoir tank it will get uh, it is uh, sucked uh, it is get passed to the filter 
so what is the use of filter uh, even i can explain that a filter means it need to filter the or it need to separate the foreign particles which get collected in the uh, or the dust which get collected in the oil because after the routine uh, process what will happen means some grease some uh, some sort of a foreign objects will get collected in the oil so if uh, this foreign articles uh, I, um, uh, if uh, if there is no filter means the foreign uh, uh, foreign objects or dust particles and all it will uh, move to the engine and engine parts and uh, because of the engine motion the engine parts may get damaged or the uh, casing may get damaged so in order to minimize that uh, uh, problems and all or uh, to mitigate the problems what we need is we need to separate the uh, uh, foreign particles or dust particles collected in the oil so we use some filters okay and uh, mainly then we have a uh, after the filtering and all we have a uh, uh, cooling system and then it uh, it will get passed to the engine so in a small aircraft and all uh, maybe from for uh, one or two uh, uh, radial engine uh, radial engine uh, aircraft and all we have one pump only or one you will have a oil tank simply they will have some oil tank or some sim, uh, single engine uh, uh, bike engines and all we will be using only thumb so but for uh, multi engine aircrafts each engine has its own lubrication system and uh, own independent lubrication system that's why i mentioned here so in multi engine aircraft and all each engine is supplied with oil from its own complete and independent system so <coughs> mainly uh, the units which are uh, giving this uh, uh, system uh, processes one is the sum next is the uh, pump pressure pump oil pressure pump then the sca sca uh, scavenge pump then oil cooler then oil cooler control valve then oil tank vent and necessary tubings and temperature and pressure indicators because we need to um, um, gradually we need to check the pressures inside the uh, uh, pressure of the oil because if the temp pressure and temperature temperature is uh, high means we need to cool the oil before it gets passed to the engine otherwise it will damage the parts of the engine so uh, for that purpose we are periodically we will check the uh, pressure and the temperature values and it will get uh, uh, we, uh, the pressure and temperature readings are uh, displayed in the cockpit session of our aircraft and all that all you know so this is the main thing we have for uh, uh, lubrication systems and all so this is the main image of this uh, lubrication system so i hope you understand this lubrication system so now we can uh, move